This is the last example in the series of how to do quadratic inequalities. You know it's an inequality because it has an inequality sign, in this case greater than sign. Uh, the technique always is if you can to factor the one side, so let's write this as the product of two binomials. We need an x and an x. If this number is positive and this number is negative, that means they both have to be negative. Because when I multiply, we'll get a positive 6. When I add, I'll get a negative 5. And it looks like the obvious answers in this case is a negative 2 and a negative 3. Now, the next step is to write the equivalent equation. So we write x minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to zero. We do that because the solution of this will give us the critical points, the points that will delineate the various regions that may either be part of the solution or not part of the solution to the inequality. So let's solve for that. If we multiply two binomials and we get zero, that means either the one binomial must equal zero or the other binomial must equal zero. And that means that either x equals two or x equals three. So those are the two critical points of our solution. If we draw the number line, if we find those two points on the number line, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The number 2 is right here, the number 3 is right there, and we also have an equal sign in the inequality, which means the solution will include those two particular points. That means we can draw solid circles on top of those points indicating that 2 and 3 are part of the solution, but now the question is, how about the region between 2 and 3, or the region to the left of 2, or the region to the right of 3, are those part of the solution as well? So that means that those two points have now delineated region 1, region 2, and region 3. So now we need some test points to, to verify if these three regions, or any of these three regions, belong to the solution of that inequality. So for region number 1, which is to the left of the number 2, we're going to put in or plug in a test point into our inequality like 0, 1. Of course, again, like I said, if you plug in number 0, that's always the best point to pick. Let x equal 0. And let's plug that into inequality. We get 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 6 greater than or equal to 0. And of course, that's a question mark. We want to test that, verify that. that 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 is a true statement. If it is, we pick the point in the region that satisfies inequality. It will be part of the solution. So 0 minus 0 is 0. So we get 6 greater than 0, question mark, and the answer is yes. Which means that the number 0 lies in the region, region number 1, that satisfies inequality. So we can go ahead and indicate that by drawing the solid line here with an arrow saying anything or any value to the left of 2 will satisfy this inequality. How about the region between 2 and 3? So let's try a test point. Region number 2, let x equal, how about 2.5? If we plug that into our inequality, what do we get? We get 2.5 squared minus 5 times 2.5. Sometimes it's better to put parentheses around it so it looks a little bit clear what you're trying to do. Plus 6. And is that less than, oh, not less than, greater than or equal to 0? Question mark, of course. We don't know if it is. If it is, that region will be part of the solution. If it's not, it's not part of the solution. <coughs> Excuse me. 2.5 squared. Mm, that's 6.25. Minus 5 times 2.5 is 12.5, plus 6, is that greater or equal to 0? Question mark. Well, 6.25 plus 6 is 12.25, minus 12.5, ooh, that's less than 0, because it's zero minus 0 0.25 is not greater than 0. That's a no, a negative. That means this region here is not part of the solution. Now we have one more region to test. So let's pick the number 4 as a test point for region 3. So now we're testing region 3. We're going to let x equal 4. Let's plug in 4 into our inequality. So we have 4 squared minus 5 times 4 plus 6. And is that greater than or equal to 0? Question mark. Let's work it out. 16 minus 20 plus 6 greater or equal to 0? Question mark. 16 plus 6 is 22, minus 20 is 2, and it looks like 2 is greater than 0. 
The answer is yes. And so again, we verify that region 3 is also part of the solution. And we can indicate that by drawing a solid line to the right. Draw a little arrow like that. And now we have the solution. Anything to the left of 2 or anything to the left of 4 is part of the solution. Okay, now you have a good idea of how to deal with quadratic inequalities.